So I've been sitting on this video for about five weeks now and the Rode Wireless Pro is a phenomenal microphone, but I did want to test it in a whole bunch of situations where I personally would be using it in professional stuff, YouTube, Instagram, all that kind of social media work, just everything that I personally do right now and uh, see if it sort of matches up to my Sennheiser AVX. Now this is a professional microphone system that I do attach you know, through the XLR into my FX6 when it comes to corporate work and all those kind of things. And I really wanted to see if I could replace the Sennheiser AVX when it comes to all my professional work and corporate stuff. And I mean, look at the size. Already the Rode Wireless Pro is smaller and kind of more powerful because it has 32-bit flow internal. We've got so much we need to talk about because I do want to compare the audio quality out of that, the audio quality out of my Zoom F3, you know, with my Shure SM7B microphone. Could this be an all-in-one, does everything and also future-proof because that is the biggest thing that we really, really need to think about when buying these kind of products. So yeah, we've got a ton to get through, so let's get it. What's going on my 104,000 amazing friends? I hope you're all doing absolutely fantastic. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Now we've got a whole bunch of talking points that we're gonna be going through and really comparing this to the competitors out there as well to see if this thing actually is future-proof and you know, who exactly is this for and can it be suited to almost any different situation. Now, first of all, we have to talk about the 32-bit float. Now, that's one of the most outstanding features when it comes to this wireless microphone. And I did just recently buy the Zoom F3, which is a 32-bit float studio recorder, has two XLR inputs, which is how I generally record my videos with the audio uh, through the SM7B straight into that. And, you know, 32-bit float is incredible because it's got so much dynamic range. You pretty much can't clip the audio. The only way you can kind of clip the audio is if the microphone itself can't handle uh, the audio quality that's going into there. So if you really just get up super, super, super close, you can kind of blow out uh, the microphone's ability. And that's the only way you can kind of blow out 32-bit float. But other than that, you can literally just set these and forget it. But I do have to mention it's 32-bit float internal into these. So you actually physically have to press record and you'll see a red tally light on there. And uh, essentially it records uh, 32 gigabytes worth of data in here. So that's pretty much the, the maximum. And when it comes to the wireless transfer, it transfers 24-bit directly into your camera. And a lot of earlier cameras will only have 16-bit when it comes to the audio file. So it'll convert that 24-bit into 16-bit. But some of the newer cameras coming out now uh, have that minimum of 24-bit, which generally is enough for everyone. It should be enough, especially if you do set your microphone to the correct level. But if you don't have that ability to set to the correct level, you're not gonna have that uh, really, really annoying blowing out noise. And there's, there's a few YouTubers that I watch that I absolutely love when it comes to football or soccer, uh, and their audio is just, it's shocking. The pair of new plaids on. I've, <laughs> I've been thinking I'm gonna just Jalads. He's definitely yeah, shouting yeah, Jalads yeah, yeah, in his head. Yeah. Yeah. Give me 250,000. <laughs> Boo -doo -doo -doo. As I duplicated, I went through a lot of trouble. and I talked to the guy and everything. So close. Come on! Today. Oh, it's a bloody tank. Look, they've got some bugs to figure out with this thing. Hello everybody, I'm Mark Goldbridge and this needs calling out. Yeah, please get onto that Mark Goldbridge. 32-bit <laughs> float, uh, the Redman Plus or the Redman TV, get onto that. And uh, yeah, make sure that you don't blow out your audio because there's nothing worse than that real terrible distortion sound. Now, second of all, let's talk about the audio quality, not just with my voice, because you're gonna be hearing this throughout the whole video. Let's actually get my missus in here and see what her voice sounds like and another male as well. So you can actually hear what it sounds like in different types of voices. A friend of mine had owned a Jets and they were having great success. I really enjoyed hearing about you know, their growth and what they were doing and so it really encouraged me to look into it more and, and see if it was for me. You know, we're taking four or five kids to sporting events because other parents just can't be there. They, they, they work nine to five jobs, they can't be there. We're so fortunate that we can be that parent that can say, yeah, look, we'll take you and your friends along and we get to have those conversations with their friends and get to know you know, they're in a circle. Now, another standout feature that I 
don't think anyone else is doing is the charging case that allows you to do data transfer directly through this. So you can connect a USB-C cord and transfer the data directly from your actual device. So all you need to do is put it directly in and through the back there is when you're actually gonna be transferring the data. And you can transfer the data directly off your computer. You don't actually have to go physically into the app to try and get that off, which I know the previous versions you did, but this one you can pull it directly off the device itself. But you can't delete the files off that. And I don't know if that's a bit of a safeguard, so if you accidentally delete it off this, then you have to physically go into the app to delete this. But uh, I mean, it's not a deal breaker for me. And even if you do go over that full 32 gigabytes somehow, it's a lot, a lot of data that it's writing to, it'll just rewrite over the previous stuff. So you're pretty much safe. And I do actually think that is a good safeguard so you don't accidentally delete some very important audio files. But the only thing I don't really like is the design, the zipper design. Everyone else has like a sort of a really hard case and it just sort of clips up and magnetic clips down. Whereas this one physically has a bit of a zipper, not the most prettiest looking and it fits in the bag quite awkwardly because it does stick out a little bit. But I mean, I love that data transfer. Now, one of the cool features about this charging case is when you actually take it out, it'll turn straight on as well, which is kind of cool because sometimes you may actually forget, but it's the same when it actually is connected directly through to your 3.5 on your camera. When you turn your camera on, it will actually turn on. And when you turn your camera off, it'll turn off. So that is just like the Rode, uh, what is it, the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, where it, it's the shotgun microphone on top and it turns off and it turns on, which is great because you don't actually want them going flat on you during a shoot. Now, another thing with the charging case as well is if you do leave these magnets on the back of the clips, it all fits within the case. So that's kind of cool and I do appreciate that design. Now, one of the other standout features is actually the extra accessories that you get. So you get two lav mics that comes in, you know, this package right here, which is absolutely amazing. And you get a couple of cords. So if you do want to connect it directly through USB-C to your phone or a lightning bolt to your older iPhones, you can. You can connect it directly through that, which is super, super handy. And it's just one of those things that not a lot of other companies will offer professional lav mics with their system. So you pretty much have to buy them separately. But I know my AVX that came with a professional lav mic and that sounds absolutely phenomenal, but this one is far more expensive than the Rode Wireless Pro. Now, the one thing that a lot of people have been waiting for and is a pro feature is the locking 3.5 audio jack. Now, essentially you put the lav mic on there and you can screw it tight and it won't pull out because it locks into that thread, which is absolutely amazing. And it is a very professional feature. My Sennheiser AVX also has that. And essentially a lot of professional audio devices will have a locking 3.5. That's pretty much a standard in the industry because there is always that risk of it pulling out and you've disconnected the audio. And that is the last thing you actually want to do. But that is probably one of the biggest reasons why you should be monitoring your audio regardless. Even if you have the ability just to set this and forget it, you still wanna be monitoring that audio. But I mean, it gives you two options anyway if you do monitor the audio. So you've got the recording that's inside your camera, but if you press record on here, you've got the 32-bit float file on here. So you've got two different files to work with. And also the audio quality is slightly different between the 32-bit file on the transmitter than what you're actually getting inside the camera. So you can pretty much hear the audio quality that's in the camera right now and then we'll switch it over to the 32-bit float file and you can hear the differences between the two files but if you do put a little bit of an equalizer and tweak the audio a little bit you can make them sound pretty much the same however you want you just have a little bit more flexibility with the 32-bit float file because you have more information to work with so one of the most impressive things about the Rode Wireless Pro is that distance. It can do up to 260 meters, which is pretty much two and a bit lengths of a football field. And we're going to be testing that. And we've got the Sennheiser AVX on my left hand side and my Rode Wireless Pro on the right hand side. And we're going to see what the distance is going to be like. Now, it will cut in and out most likely because these are going to be in my pocket. And if it's not line of sight and going through the body, it can be, uh, I suppose, broken up. But that is the pro of having internal recording on the Rode Wireless Pro, whereas my Sennheiser doesn't have internal recording, so if it does drop out, I mean, there goes the audio, and that is absolutely unfortunate. But we'll go for a little bit of a stroll. So what is it like? 
right now. Can you still hear me? And that's probably one of the biggest things is I don't know. I really don't know. So this is probably coming up to about a hundred yards and close to maybe the full length of a football field and we'll go maybe one and a half lengths of a football field just to see what it is actually like. Now most likely uh, I am assuming that the Sennheiser has cut out and uh, the road potentially has cut out but I do have that internal 32-bit float recording which is uh, which is pretty massive. One of the biggest things about brand new microphones is that they should have some form of internal recording because if it does drop out you're at least going to still get the audio and it's not going to crackle in and out and that's one of the biggest cons on the Sony microphones is that it doesn't have any internal recording whatsoever which it, it baffles me but luckily Rode has this in their Rode Wireless Pro. Now another cool feature that actually comes with this is the magnetic clip on the back and I think the DJI mics have this as well where you can literally just uh, put it underneath your shirt, clip it on like so and wear it on the outside and I know a lot of people on social media actually wear it like this because you clip it on, it's very easy, it looks kind of nice, I mean it is very shiny so it kind of does shine quite a lot which could be distracting, depends on you, but uh, this is how a lot of people actually utilize it and it is nice that you know you do have that option. Otherwise, you can actually just clip it to the back of your pants because it does have that clip on there as well. Now the Rode Wireless Pro also does have time code as well, which isn't really a thing that I use very often. I pretty much just sync it in post, nice and easy, check the waveform, sync it real quick. Uh, but if you are on a professional set where you do have multiple cameras, multiple devices, it is nice to have time code where you can, you know, kind of sync them up with the cameras and make sure that the audio is matched with, you know, multiple cameras or multiple audio devices. Now probably the last standout feature when it comes to this is the actual app itself. So you can change a whole bunch of settings through the app and uh, that just gives you the ability to you know, change the audio settings, make sure you optimize it. It also has that gain assist as well, which works quite well. Uh, but if you do actually put this on 32-bit float recording, you shouldn't really need the app for anything anyway. Now when it comes to professional audio devices, usually you have the ability to take out the battery and put a new one, obviously when it goes flat. This is the downfall of these smaller devices because none of them have a removable battery. You literally just have to put this back into the charger and you know, kind of hope for the best that it charges enough for you to use it again. But full charge gives you up to about seven hours, but this Sennheiser AVX gives you up to about, I think 15 hours on this actual transmitter. The receiver is a little bit less, but that receiver can be phantom power, which can pretty much last forever, however long my camera battery lasts. So it is a little bit crucial when it comes to these devices to be able to take the battery out and replace them. But in most situations, you shouldn't really need over seven hours uh, of actual recording. But if you do, you do have that charging case or the device itself actually has a USB-C in so you can actually power delivery into this if you really, really wanted to. Now I guess the other downside, which I don't really think it is a downside, but is the actual look of it. It is very shiny and you can pretty much see when it sort of hits the light, it kind of reflects quite badly. Really depends, it's pro, con, whichever you feel, uh, but I thought I would add that in there anyway. Now one of the benefits of this kind of audio device, and it seems pretty much the same across the board, is that you can utilize the transmitter to record the audio. You don't actually have to plug in a lav mic to get decent audio quality. Whereas my Sennheiser AVX, you have to have a lav mic in here. Otherwise you have no audio going directly into this. So that is a bit of a pro and obviously it's great for versatility because you can utilize it in two different ways. You can just wear it or you can attach that lav mic, hide it, conceal it, you know, for professional uh, interviews, corporate work and all those kind of things. And I do have to mention that the audio will sound different if you utilize it just like this or if you utilize it through a lav mic. Now, Rode do have those two lav mics that you can actually utilize and pair with these two. So utilize that and you will still get great audio quality. Now look, when it comes to future proof, is this device going to have that longevity uh, for years to come? And that is probably one of the questions that matters the most, especially if you are spending you know, the kind of money on these kind of devices. You don't wanna to have to be upgrading from the Rode Wireless Go, the Rode Wireless Go 2, and then now the Rode Wireless 
Surface Pro, you kind of want to just get that one device and have, you know, five, six years worth of utilizing that device. And when it comes down to it, I do think this is worth it. Obviously the battery isn't exchangeable, so I'm not sure how long the battery will actually keep that charge for to keep, give you seven hours. But when it comes to 32-bit float, that absolutely is future-proof, time code, the ability to use it through the app, the locking connector, everything about this screams future-proof and uh, is a really good option for you to literally buy now and it hold value and it giving you just brilliant audio quality, which is what we're all after at the end of the day. We just want ease of use, good audio quality, and it just work. And that is probably one of the biggest benefits of the Rode Wireless Pro. So anyway, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. That would be absolutely amazing. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, let's get it.